Hello, this is a how-to video that explains directions for using the Somnote app. This app is a tool to take notes as well as a journaling tool. So when you open up the Somnote app, the home screen or the landing screen that you get to, list folders that you have created as well as notes that you have created. Some of these are default and come with the program, and they in contain helpful information on how to use the app. Um, I've added a few here just to show different tools or different things that this tool can actually do. So the first thing that I would like to show you how to do is to create a folder. One thing that this app does is allows you to create colorful folders, and this would be helpful for students who would, are taking notes maybe for different classes, maybe have things for some personal things going on, maybe some outside things, and the folders can help them with organization. So to set up a new folder, you will click down at the bottom, the new folder button. Here you're going to enter a folder name. So for instance, if I'm working on researching colleges, I want to kind of keep the information together. I'll call this one College Search. I can pick some different colors here for my folder, pick purple, and then click save. And so now I have the folder there with the color. Um, I also can add messages to the folder simply by clicking on the folder. So if I click here, there are a couple ways to add a note to this folder. I can click the plus here or I can click the plus here. Both of these will add a note to this folder. So I'm going to click that and I am going to just put in a note of a message that maybe I received today. Um, So students can type in notes from a class, maybe a to-do list, um, anything that they would like to keep a record of, and click Save. And that note is saved there for that folder. Um, okay, to go back to our main, main page, you will simply use the back or left arrow function of your mobile device. Here I've put in a couple of folders that a typical high school student may be using. So in the English 3 folder, let's take a look at some notes that they took today. I can come into an existing note and edit if I want to add more notes to my original note. Um, I can save that. I'm going to go back and then I realize um, that I maybe have saved this in the wrong folder. So what I can do is click the scissors or the edit button that's at the bottom of the app. And when I do that, it allows me to click the, a button beside a different note. And then I can click the move function here or the move, which is a picture of folders. When I click that, it's going to give me the option to move that note to any other folder. So let's pretend that this Civil War note should have actually gone to U.S. History. So I'll click U.S. History, click OK, and I'm done. So let's use our back button for our that's on our mobile device, and that message is now in the U.S. History folder like it should be. Another interesting feature is if I wanted to go into my personal folder that I created, I can create somewhat of a journal simply by starting each message with the date. Um, by doing that, whatever the top line is of your note is what you will see when you are looking at all of your messages in the list format. So if I were to save that, uh, you will see that I have um, things listed there by those dates. I also can put the time 
So this is a great journal feature, a good, great way to um, have students record or anyone record information. And in counseling, a lot of times we can see how students are feeling, kind of what their thoughts are at different times of the day. So that's an extremely helpful tool. Also, the date over to the right is there, which is um, the computer date for when they um, entered those, those notes. Another thing that you can do with this software, or not software, with this um, app, is you can add or attach a picture. So if, for example, I wanted to come in and maybe put in a note here, um, here is my cell phone. And if I wanted to go in there and to include a picture of my cell phone, I could click the clip, the um, attachment, paper clip. And here I can capture a photo or pull one from my gallery or select file from my SD card. I'm going to capture a photo using my mobile device. And bam, there it is. I will go back and done. And so now I've got a picture to go with my note. Of course, I'll click save. And that can be very helpful if a, if a student wanted to take a snapshot of something that the teacher was using on the board, uh, maybe math problems, maybe a, um, something that was being projected on the board, something that would be very helpful for later. That would be a good opportunity to put that there with the notes from the day. So let's go back and um, we talked about how to look at all of these different um, notes and of course if you do attach something you'll have a paper clip there to give you an idea that that was that that was attached <clears throat> let's go back and the last feature that I wanted to show you was how to do some administrative settings to or preferences so if we click the settings down here at the bottom right there's a wheel you can see that there are different options. The um, program or the app comes with a cloud, so to speak, because all of this information is stored online. So if you have problems with the mobile device or you want to check it out somewhere else, this is automatically synced. This That's not something you have to make it do. It's automatically synced to the online account. So you can go there to read the notes and to see the things that you have posted. Um, you can select themes. That is something that comes with the purchased subscription of this app. The free version does not come with themes. You are allowed to change your fonts and make things creative and, and work for you. The cool feature here that allows this program to be something I can use in counseling is that it does have a confidentiality lock or a pin lock built in. So I can click the pin lock and I had already typed in a PIN number as I was playing around with this, but when you come into to the PIN lock, it asks you, what do you want to be locked? So I may not care if English 3 is something out there, because I may share my English 3 folder with my friend. I may share my US History folder, but my personal folder may be something that's just between myself and myself or my counselor and I. So I may want that to be locked. So I will click that and I'll click the app lock. And then I'm going to click OK up at the top right. And now when I go back to my landing page or home screen, you notice that there is a shadow of a lock there for personal. So if I were to leave my mobile device on my desk or anywhere and if someone were to get it and they wanted to see what was in my personal folder, of course they could not without my PIN number. If you forget your PIN, this link takes you to the website for the app, which is um, again how you would check out all the information you have stored in the cloud. There you are allowed to reset your, your PIN number, which is a, a helpful tool. The app also has a search feature, which I think is very helpful, especially if this is something you've been using for a while. Um, simple, just click the magnifying glass down at the bottom and then type in the words that you are wanting to search for. So for example, I want to search for Civil War because I know that's something I typed in a moment ago. And when I do that, nothing comes up, basically because I am trying to search my personal folder for Civil War. There's nothing in my personal 
journal about the Civil War, so of course there are no results. But let's go back to the main page because maybe I want to search all of my folders. So if I go back to my main page where I see all of my folders, I will click the search again. And here I can type in a keyword or words to try to see where these notes are and so I can catch up on these notes. And of course there it is. Double click on it and I found my notes. The sharing capability allows you to share your notes via Facebook. Also allows you to share it with other users who are using some note as well as Twitter. So those are some options for sharing your information and that could be something that um, counselors may use if they are using journaling as a therapy technique so that they can keep up and kind of track the progress. That is basically how to use this SumNote app, which is again a, a note-taking or journaling app. Thanks.